Dive into the world of naval warfare as we explore China's cutting-edge submarine technology. In this video, we analyze the capabilities of China's latest submarine designs and compare them to the formidable U.S. Navy's underwater fleet. From stealth features to weaponry and strategic advantages, we break down the key factors that could tip the scales in a potential showdown. Are China's advancements enough to challenge U.S. dominance at sea? Watch now to find out. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. The Type 094, Jin class, nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine, SSBN, particularly its upgraded Type 094A variant, introduces several advancements that enhance China's naval capabilities and strategic posture, making it a significant development in naval warfare. Here's why it's considered a game changer. Credible sea based nuclear deterrent. The Type 094 is recognized by the U.S. Department of Defense as China's first credible sea-based nuclear deterrent. It carries 12 JL-2 submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs, with a range of approximately 7,200 kilometers, capable of striking regional targets like Alaska, Guam, and Hawaii from near Chinese waters. By late 2022, some were upgraded with JL-3 SLBMs, extending the range to over 10,000 kilometers enabling strikes on the continental U.S. from the South China Sea. This long-range capability provides China with a survivable second strike option, strengthening its nuclear triad and deterrence strategy. Enhanced Operational Capabilities The Type 094A variant, with a submerged displacement of 11,000 tons, a maximum speed of 30 knots, and an operational depth of 400 meters, offers improved performance over its predecessors. Upgrades include a modernized propulsion system with a pressurized water-cooled nuclear reactor, potentially incorporating quieter propeller technologies or pump jet propulsion, which enhance speed and reduce acoustic signatures. These improvements allow for more effective patrols in contested waters like the South China Sea, where China conducts near-continuous deterrence missions. Versatile Armament Beyond its nuclear payload, the Type 094 is equipped with six 533mm torpedo tubes for launching YU-6 torpedoes, which are wire-guided, high-speed, up to 60 knots, and have a range exceeding 30 kilometers. These provide anti-submarine and anti-ship capabilities. The submarine may also carry acoustic decoys, sonar countermeasures, and towed array sonar systems, enhancing its defensive and threat detection abilities during patrols. This multi-role capability makes it a more flexible asset in both strategic and conventional naval operations. Strategic Positioning and Regional Influence With at least six Type 094 submarines operational, primarily based at Yulin Naval Base on Hainan Island, China can maintain a persistent presence in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait. The ability to threaten U.S. territory from these waters shifts the strategic calculus in the Indo-Pacific, challenging U.S. naval dominance and complicating anti-submarine warfare efforts by the U.S. and its allies. The Type 94's patrols signal China's growing confidence in its naval deterrent, serving both domestic reassurance and international strategic messaging. Technological and Doctrinal Evolution The Type 094 improved sail design and potential stealth enhancements, such as vibration dampening, reflect China's investment in closing the technological gap with Western navies. While still noisier than U.S. or Russian SSBNs, with an acoustic signature of approximately 120 decibels, comparable to 1970s-era Los Angeles-class submarines, these upgrades mark progress. Additionally, China's shift toward continuous deterrence patrols, despite doctrinal reluctance to deploy nuclear warheads in peacetime, indicates a maturing naval strategy. Limitations Despite these advancements, the Type 94's high noise levels remain a critical flaw, making it more detectable than modern U.S. or Russian SSBNs, such as the Ohio class, which are significantly quieter. This detectability could undermine its stealth in blue water operations, where it must navigate choke points to reach the mid-Pacific for full U.S. mainland targeting. Furthermore, China's limited operational experience with SSBNs compared to the U.S. and Russia may hinder its effectiveness. Why it's a game-changer the Type 94's combination of long-range SLBMs, improved performance, and strategic deployment transforms China's naval posture from a regional to a global player. 
It forces the U.S. and allies to allocate more resources to anti-submarine warfare, including P-8 Poseidon aircraft and undersea surveillance networks, to counter this threat. While not yet on par with U.S. or Russian counterparts, the Type 94's ability to hold U.S. territory at risk from safer coastal waters marks a significant escalation in China's deterrence capabilities, reshaping naval warfare dynamics in the Indo-Pacific. The ongoing development of the quieter Type 096 SSBN, expected by 2030, suggests China's trajectory toward even greater undersea prowess. The Type 94's game-changing status lies in its strategic nuclear role, providing China with a credible sea-based deterrent capable of targeting the U.S. mainland. Its JL-3 SLBMs and improved stealth, relative to earlier Chinese subs, enhance its survivability in regional waters. However, compared to the Virginia and Seawolf class SSNs, it lags significantly in stealth, speed, depth, sensor technology, and conventional weaponry. The U.S. sub's quieter designs, advanced sensors, and versatile payloads make them better suited for tactical engagements and countering submarines like the Type 094. In a direct confrontation, the Virginia or Seawolf class would likely detect and track the noisier Type 094 before it could engage effectively, especially in blue water scenarios. However, the Type 94's strategic value doesn't require tactical superiority, it needs only to survive long enough to launch its SLBMs. For a closer U.S. comparison, the Ohio-class SSBN, with 24 Trident II SLBMs and superior stealth, far outclasses the Type 094, highlighting the technological gap in strategic submarines. China's ongoing development of the quieter Type 096 SSBN, expected by 2030, may further close this gap. The Type 94's weaponry, centered on 12 JL-2 or JL-3 SLBMs and supplemented by YU-6 torpedoes, establishes it as a cornerstone of China's sea-based nuclear deterrent. Its ability to strike distant targets with nuclear missiles from regional waters is a game-changer for China's strategic posture. However, its conventional capabilities are limited compared to multi-role U.S. submarines, and its primary strength lies in deterrence rather than tactical engagements. The integration of JL-3 missiles and potential future upgrades, such as cruise missiles, signal China's intent to further enhance the Type 94's role in naval warfare. The U.S. Navy's strategy to counter China's growing underwater capabilities is comprehensive, leveraging advanced submarines, Virginia and Columbia class, unmanned systems, AI, robust anti-submarine warfare, and allied partnerships like AUKUS and Japan, South Korea. Key initiatives include boosting submarine production, deploying anti-ship tomahawks, and enhancing anti-submarine warfare with P-8s, frigates, and UUVs. These efforts exploit China's weaknesses, such as noisy submarines, Type 094 and Type 093B, and limited blue water experience, while maintaining U.S. undersea superiority. However, Challenges like shipbuilding delays, limited submarine numbers, and China's ASW advancements require urgent action. The Navy's 2027 navigation plan and allied collaborations aim to close these gaps, but China's numerical advantage, projected 80 submarines by 2035, and regional A2, AD strength mean the U.S. must prioritize efficiency and innovation. While the U.S. retains a technological and operational edge, Sustaining dominance will depend on overcoming industrial constraints and capitalizing on asymmetric capabilities in the Indo-Pacific. The future of submarine warfare in the U.S.-China rivalry will be a high-stakes, technology-driven contest, with submarines playing a central role in deterrence, power projection, and conflict. China's advancements, particularly the Type 096 and expanded fleet, 80 submarines by 2035, will strengthen its A2, AD and nuclear deterrence, shifting the regional balance in areas like the South China Sea. However, the U.S.'s superior stealth, anti-submarine warfare, operational experience, and alliances, AUKUS and Quad, will sustain its undersea dominance, especially in open ocean and global contexts. Submarine warfare will evolve into a networked, autonomous battle space, with UUVs, AI, and hypersonic weapons amplifying lethality. While China can challenge U.S. control in specific scenarios, such as Taiwan conflict, it cannot displace U.S. primacy without overcoming technological and experiential gaps. 
The rivalry will drive innovation but heighten escalation risks, making submarine warfare a defining element of US-China maritime competition through the 2030s. We hope you enjoy this episode. If you like the content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share the video. We will bring you more contents similar to this one. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.